Oh, Windows, you are a card. No, is it reset just the mic? Uh, yes, it had decided that the default mic was not my default mic. It was, in fact, something completely different. Again. Thank you, Windows. So, let's try that again. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Was it a good night stream? I hope it was. It should be. Just a little query though. Why when you're getting ready to go live do people then decide they want to talk to you? What is the law? Oh brilliant! Thank you Chrono! God, how long? Yikes! Oh, ow! Yeah, no need for that. Oof. I hope you are taking care of it. Right. Okay, level for you guys shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Good, you got the vacation day tomorrow, so no waking up at 4 a.m. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. No, that is unnecessary. Okay, so what have I got in my inventory? Ah, oh, yes. Stars. We just got out of a meeting before the stream. Back to back meetings at 6 and 7. Ugh. Wacko. Okay. So, I think there's nothing else I can do in here. So. Yeah, I'm sure that's not good. Whack me. Maybe later. Hospital to get put back and they have to wait till Monday to get a scan to see what's happening with it. Oh. Okay, Quanna. See you in a month. Right, let's rope the clock. Now, if I recall correctly, the gym has a toilet outside. The toilet is being guarded by an incredibly officious bulldog. I think I just know everyone with hypermobility. It's quite impressive. Little side note. I met at least four people with hypermobility of varying degrees. Um, and for varying reasons. When I did swords. It's, it's kind of... Yes, you're flinging great levers around and occasionally hitting things with them. So naturally, you'll do something that causes uh, your joints to pop out of joint. It's an odd hobby to take up. Good fun, though. Okay, so I get to play with levers. So, what do we think his knocking off time is? Yeah, that was something that I gather has been is very very useful. So I can understand that, Krona. I was always impressed with the woman who was in my um, Yedo group, Yajitsu class, who literally would just be doing a waza, which is literally just stepping through the movements. And would then say, oh, hang on a minute. No, my toe's just dislocated. Give me a mo. Or I've just dislocated my knee. I'll get back to you in a moment. <laughs> I should just wander off to the back of the room and just bash the offending body part until it clipped back in. Not so good thing is you got the day because your mother turned 60. It was supposed to be for her party. Oh. Yes, Looper. Um, it was. Um, she had a t shirt with the name, the full name on. A VDS. Was it Erlis Danis syndrome? Close enough. And um, with the slogan, My joints go out more than I do. Ella's Danos, that was it. Danos, that was it. 
Um, professional gardener. That's one was. Okay, don't worry about it. It's nice to have you around, and if you know, using me as wallpaper is any kind of distraction. Go for it. And let's taught your dad how to put your shoulders back because you're apparently a fragile and turbulent child. Oof. Yeah, one person um, turned up with her other half and we were doing the warm-ups and I glanced over next to me and she literally, she had put the thumb on the back of the wrist, on the front of the wrist. And I just looked over and I went, she had hypermobility and she went, yeah? that problem well, not now you told me but we were practicing wrist wrist locks that week so there was an element of if she hadn't told me then we could have had an issue oh god no that's awful oh, i'm sorry you're a kitten convinced to be a tiger basically oh okay right okay so how many does that do That noise is going to cause me to go postal. So advancing that on brings it back one. Right, okay. So if I put it to 11, if I put them both to 11. Really? That went to 9, 8. Seven. Really? Oh, you get weasel. So if it's on five, it will go all the way back down to five. I need it on six. Oh, come on, you're just being a pain in the arse now. I am so sorry. Um, not a great deal I can do about that, unfortunately. The sound is kind of stuck. Thank fell for that. I'll be hearing that noise in my sleep. Right, do yeah, I get to mechanical bird is in even worse shape than the clock? Any chance I can kidnap the choking cuckoo? Do we think? And do we think we can save the damn game? Because Hey Mackie! Okay, so now I can go to the toilet. That came out wrong. So I did that. Yeah, those eye things, really not nice. Okay. Oh, excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Um, yep, 
Yep, Fig. Yep, Mecky. That that is indeed. Toilet paper with a message. One, deposit fish in bowl. Two, stand by for excitement. Three, toggle fish flusher to initiate flush sequence. Focus on the fish. Reactivate fish launcher to reverse flush fish. Gauge worthiness of catch. Official fish ranking. Loser go home. Yeah, whatever. A medium rarity. The mother of all fish flushes. You win. Rush at your own risk. Government of Zen Zany 2 and Bureau of Recreational Plumbing. Not responsible for injury, damage or old fishy odour. Okay. Looks like the toilet is clogged. Can't fish flush with a clogged toilet. No way, no how. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. So where might sell a plunger? Where's that go? I have issues with Zany do. It's really weird. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> oh, they've changed the wording. Um, I believe I've got a mod or two in chat. Any chance you could do the banning duty, please? Because that would be appreciated. Vultures make me nervous when they hang around like that. Uh-huh. I don't think the vulture will let me. Okay. A signpost. That's a sign that's going to change. The vulture won't let me change it. Right, fine. Can't exit either way. Can't walk across the railway lines, which is very sensible, to be fair. Okay, Flux is not having anything to do with that vulture. Okay. Yeah, same to you, mate. Vultures okay. make me nervous okay. when they hang around like that. Okay, so I don't get to talk to him. That's cool. Perfectly round butthole. Right. Do I have anything to put in the pot hole? I don't have a fish, of course. Not to put in the pot hole. Okay. Right, I have theories, but... That's a utopian pepper plant. Paparium sweetest ad nauseum. <sighs> I didn't pick up anything yet. Um, I don't think he's listening. Well, that's because he's a kid. You heard butthole, not pothole. Yes, I'm not putting anything around in anything at anyone's butthole. That's not my gig. Yeah, no, it's fine. I call, it's cool. I gotcha. There's the depressed looking super fluffy bum bum. If we don't start the fire, someday all of Cutopia will look like this. Is that really such a bad thing? It's a clinically depressed bum bum. Okay, let's start searching. What are we after? We are after a plunger. I'm not sure. You had the voice of the bum bum removed from your memory. Well, since you had forgotten the bum bum, which, to be honest, I don't understand how you could have forgotten the bum bum, because the bum bum is unforgettable. <sighs> okay, I had a note actually of that. Now, what 
where's my note on the there was a phone number outside the gym which is all in colors of course so let's go off my notes right blue purple purple okay Purple is red and blue. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, we're good. So, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, and orange. I think, yes. Okay, Looper. Luck away. It's easy to play. Just listen to each oh, question, God. and then, using your touch hue phone, dial in the answer. Yikes. Ready? Question one. What color is Jim's fur? Uh, uh, I'm just going blue because it's my favorite color. Question two. Oh. What color are the fishtails on top of the outhouse? They are yellow, I want to say. Question three. Besides white, what color is Warp's fur? Who is Warp's fur? Um, red? Was it orange? You have exceeded the time. Oh, limit. you bastard. Question three. Besides white, what color is Warp's fur? I'm just coming orange because I can't remember. Question oh, four. Okay. What color fish can be found on the right shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? That is green. No, hang on. Left was yellow, and the right was red. I think. Question five. Yes. What color is Wolf's collar? Oh, that was green. And our final question is on the Zany Do sign. What color is the arrow pointing to Jim's gym? Blue, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Sorry, you did not answer oh, all no. the questions correctly. But please call again soon. Oh, don't make me dial that again. Don't mind dialing lavender, mint green, sunset, mauve, birch. <gasps> okay. Do that again. So the, the number is right, so it's blue, purple, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, orange. Let's try that again. Uh. Welcome to Wackme's Not Everyone's a Winner Contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then, using your touch hue phone, dial in the answer. Ready? Question one. What color are the floor tiles in the Oh my god. Oh, uh, red, I think. Oh, I should have watched watch the end of this bloody stream. Two. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the way out back? They are orange. Because I have just been there. I think. Assuming that's where I was. Three. Besides white, what color is Woof's fur? Okay, Woof's fur is... Well, orange was white last time, so let's go with that. Question four. What color fish can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? Yellow. Yeah, 
Question five. What color are the plant pots? Okay. They are purple. And our final question Ooh. is on okay. the Zany Do sign. What color is the arrow pointing to whack me? That was red. Sorry, you oh, oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, that's that's annoying, that is. Okay. However, I got all the way through, so it's the whack me sign. Yeah, I was pointing to the whack me sign that I got wrong. Yeah. Oh boy! My special friends are back! Drew, if I ever get like that, shoot me. Come on, Fluffy. I'm sure you have more important things to worry about than cotton candy. Yes, I suppose you're right. For instance, I don't have any popcorn! My life is ruined! I just can't bear it! <laughs> so, Fluffy, do you and Huey ever hang out? I'm afraid we don't see each other as much as we used to. He's just too tied up these days. Uh -huh. Well, old Huey took time out of his busy schedule to hang with us. I guess you're just the lower priority. Ooh. Oh, no. I don't think so. You see, I haven't seen him lately because I have the good grace not to disturb him during a crisis. I understand the true meaning of friendship. Ooh. Ouch. Burn. So, Fluffy, what's new with you? Nothing. I'm still just the cutest little bunny bun bun that you ever did say. Die in a fire, please. Just like a flower. Pretty, soft, sweet smelling. Gee, that's super. Uh huh. See you later, Fluffy. You'll be back soon. It's hard to stay away from such cuteness and charm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, I am totally with. I am totally with flux over that. Right. I didn't get any questions about the carecrow. So that's fine. Oh, shut up. That's the most ridiculous contraption I've ever seen. Of course it is. It's the Zany Do Shuttle. Oh, okay, let's just 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 use it. It's in neutral. It's in neutral. Okay. Oh, the laugh is terrible. Imagine her as a dominant tone up and in to talk to you. You'd I'll gather those ropes in no time. Wow. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay, so the whack me arrow is red, the Jim's Jim is blue. Right. <coughs> so fish are yellow. Jim's Jim itself is a fire hydrant. Okay, so the tile's blue. Jim himself is blue. No, no, not like that. Um, his tights are purple. I just call Fish a coward. No, never call Fish a coward in any way that could be proved. So this would be way out back then. So yes, orange mountains, blue sky. Oh, go away. I 
we can use a phone in here. Um, danger sign is red. Plant pots are purple. I remember that correctly. Warp is indeed orange. Woof is purple. <laughs> Hello, Shard. That's right. It's a whole wall full of smiley, satisfied, whack me customers. I just can't get enough of looking at them, and neither can you, I guess. Hello. I seen that guy somewhere. So yes, left fish is yeah. Left fish is yellow. White fish is red. Look at all the satisfied customers. <laughs> oh, shards pink to me. Look at all the satisfied customers. Okay. Right. Why does nobody else have a phone? Oh, show the toilet to fish, yes. Except he can't presumably be watching. I know he might be watching, actually. He just can't be listening. Be a man, cut across the grass. Be a woman, cut across the grass even faster. Oh god, you did! I wondered if someone would. Well, for starters, the paintings. Yeah, I know, but he's also gaming at the moment. Mind, if I took a quick whiz. mind? This is a sophisticated piece of sporting equipment. Next, you'll be wanting to be Smirch, the scroll of wisdom. It has taken a ch turn for the distinctly chilly in here. Excuse me while I just retreat to a blanket. Yeah, um, Shardy's role playing at the moment, so I suspect he's only going to be in visuals. <sighs> it's the teeth that worry me. Um, that was it. <coughs> How to use the fish flusher. does worry me. As does Flush for Victory, frankly. Hello, fish on there. <laughs> of course you did, Mech. Of course you did. Right, let's go back and do that quiz again. And not talk to bun freaking bun bun. The bunnykins from hell. Uh, yes, I fixed the clock eventually. That was a freaking struggle. But yes, I sorted it. Set it to six o'clock, and God knows where he's gone now. Right, okay. Bring it on, phone. So, I need to dial blue, purple, red, orange, uh, yellow, green, orange. I'm slightly worried I've started remembering that. Okay, bring it. Everyone the winner contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question and then using your touch hue phone dial Tell in me. the answer. Ready? Question 1. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the West? They are orange. Question 
Question two. What color is Jim's fur? Blue. Question three. What color are the fish tails on They Delta are yellow. <laughs> I'm great. We've got eye trading in the what chat. What color is Woof's collar? Woof's collar is green. Question five. What color fish can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? And our final question is on the zany do sign. What color is the arrow pointing to whack me? Uh, the arrow pointing to whack me was red. Congratulations! You win! Your fabulous whack me prize should be arriving right now. Okay. Okay. What? Whack me jumping beans. Naturally, because of course. Whack me jumping beans. No further explanation is apparently requested or required. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I can use the gift of matic Right, the Whack Me gift of matic I have to have proof that I bought something from Whack Me in order to use it. Okay, Shard. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I'm not sure, quite sure what... I did differently, but meh, okay. I'm impressed the speed that elephant can run backwards. I'd have put it on the pivot person, but it's just me. What I am going to do is save. Right, okay, so I have whack me beans. I believe these whack me jumping beans prove that I'm a paying customer. Why, yes, they do. Help yourself to the gift o -matic. She's all yours. Right. And I get to hang on to the beans, so cool. Okay. How does this work? Prize. Hope this makes you feel better. Okay. Right, let's do that again, shall we? With okay. We have a winner. You'll be taking home our top prize. The Whack Me Mega Magnet with our patented no slip grip. Easy on off switch and more pull than your local elected official. <laughs> Okay. Can I keep using the gift of matic? Yes, I can. Okay. Let's have everything. Bit quick on the draw there. Awarded that prize, but good news, we have a substitute. Yeah. Uh-huh. Head trauma. Thanks for that. Right. friend are the lucky winner of a whack me ulti mallet pound for pound the best quality bludgeoning device in existence today okay <laughs> that is a big old mallet can i use that in bum bum 
That'd be awesome. Okay, let's go for the glove. Congratulations, champ. Let's give this guy a hand. Or at least a glove. Immediately went for Bum Bum. Yep. A red rubber glove. A giant mallet from Wackney. Where else? An ultra powerful Wackney magnet. Okay. Right. I was looking for a needle in a haystack. Almost literally, wasn't I? So now I have a magnet. I can go back to the cows. In the. Thanks for that. In the barn. Oh, I, I see a shotgun for that bloody squirrel. No, it was a missing piece of the equipment, wasn't it? So, let's use the magnet on the haystack. Aha, like they always say, there's more than one way to search a haystack. They always say that. Is this what you were looking for? Right, so I can get butter. Oh, sweet dear thing! You found the Turnitron's missing part! Oh, you sweet dear thing! My goodness, I'm so excited! I've got butterflies in my stomachs! Why, I'm lactating with delight! Excuse me, gentlemen! <laughs> well, that's something I didn't necessarily need to see. Oh, I don't know how to Or actually, I do. Take the very first two sticks. One for each of you. Thank you. Why did right. they call them sticks? We, uh, can't wait to taste it. Uh-huh. Right, okay, while I'm here, can I refill the watering can? It's already full of fertilizer. Okay, never mind. <laughs> please, please stop. Please, please, no. Please, no. Please, no shagging the butter machine. Just no. Right, however, I can now help the bakers out, I think. I think. Because they were missing bacon. Bacon? They were missing butter. Where the hell did bacon come from? She's definitely having, um... Some personal time. Right, where's the bakers? There. Okay. So, I've got two sticks of butter. We'll be able to use that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome! You're welcome! <coughs> welcome, Butter! Aw, oh, thank you, friends! Now, allow me to treat you to the yummy wares of my day young bakery. Joy! Joy! Yeah, happy. Joy, joy, happy joy. Yeah, we ignore where the butter came from. There you go! Oh. One freshly prepared lump of raw dough, yeah. Yummy. Ah, it felt wonderful making dough again. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm so happy. Me too, completely, perfectly happy. Nah, uh huh? Fabulously, amazingly, yeah. wonderfully so happy. So <laughs> if only Ray were here to celebrate with us. <laughs> okay. Boy. 
that didn't last long. Okay, so I've got dough. Dough's dough. One stick of Marge's butter. <laughs> Some sort of machine. And thank you for the host night bites. Oh boy. I just realised I just kind of launched into this stream. Assuming that anyone who was here saw it last time. Okay. Now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not going to try and butter the bum bun, because that's getting into a whole weird area. Or even weirder area, to be fair. So yes, anybody, if you weren't here last week, feel free to drop any questions you may have <laughs> as to what the blue blazes is going on. Just look, as Techie says. Um, Thank you for choosing Zenidu Tours. The building on your left is Jim's Gym. Keeping weaponry and other hardware loot in your outfit is, in many cases, more hygienic than having sticks of butter, fish, and dough. You were here last week and you still have many questions. To be fair, so do I. Well, it's human. Basically, this cartoonist has been dumped into the fantasy world he created, which is being corrupted by a villain played by Tim Curry, who's incredibly cool. I'm currently working for a living embodiment of the smiley emoji. To try and resolve the situation. And other than that, just go with it. It's cartoon logic. Okay. Um I need to get stronger to use the thing. Welcome, skinny sad man. Come worship at the altar of my rippling muscles. I think the cartoonist is suffering from a combination of caffeine excess and sleep deprivation. Uh, but I, it does have its own logic. Um, okay, what have I got? So, your Puppetron is the best workout machine in the Zany Do? No, in the universe! Mind if we try it out? Yes, I am minding greatly. Members only, remember? Okay. Fine, where do we sign up? You don't, too bad, haha. -ha. Boy, that routine of yours sure looked dangerous. I mean, if it were me, I'd be afraid I'd break my neck. But then you don't have one, so I guess you don't have to worry. There's no danger to me. I'm keeping my equipment uh -huh. in perfect condition. Much like my body. In that case, uh, if it's no trouble, okay. I sure would like to see your routine again. All right, I will be performing for you to be showing you what you can never hope to achieve. Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, the mere fact that those stubby little arms could reach the bars was an inspiration to all of us. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, hey, we've taken up enough of your time. Besides, it's probably just about time for your walk. See ya. Uh-huh. See, I'm having a nasty thought, and I don't know if it'll work. But on the other hand, what's the harm? Almost everything is better with butter. Oh, it might. Actually. Okay. Catch you later. Hello again, J. 
him. Oh, buddy. Do not be mistaking me. I am not some kind of aging friend of yours in any way. Say, Jim, you wouldn't consider... Ah, nah. What am I saying? Busy guy like you. What is it, weakling? Spit out what you are chewing on. Well, could we please see your routine again? All right, one more time. <laughs> now, this might go pear-shaped. I hope. Right, okay. So how does it feel to be in tippy top physical condition? Do you have any aspirin? <laughs> Can I have my mouse back, please? Thank you. Right, let's go and Go to the fairgrounds. No, you can't decutify the cows. Well, you can decutify the cows. Right. Okay. Now there was a, a fairground, wasn't there? Arcade thing. Not fairground. Oh no! What a disaster. Okay. I'm also guessing I'm going to have to use that uh, coupon once I've got it endorsed. Right. I've got a whacking hammer. Mind if I take a whack at that strengthometer? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Here's your lucky mallet. No thanks. I brought my own. Hey, 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 nobody said nothing about bringing your own freaking mallet. Besides, that clunky thing isn't going to get you anywhere. Like my old pop used to say to me, fingers, you stupid, good-for-nothing little creep. Always use the right tool for the job. And by the way, you smell like crap. <laughs> Wise guy, my pop. I'll bet. Now I suggest you put that down before I... Uh, uh, uh. Remember, this is Cutopia. Before you hurt your poor little back. Oh, but if you want to use it, just go right ahead. That is the brain, isn't it? <laughs> Images I'd never want to see. This guy flexing. <laughs> That was it. Don Don Louise, that was it. One of the others is pinky. Yes. What? That's impossible. I, I mean. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, well. Congratulations. <laughs> you don't think I'm impressed? You know what they say about guys who need big mallets. <laughs> okay, Squid oh, Boy, shit. where's our Chablis? Yeah, 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 here. Hey, okay, who was hey, after the wine? This isn't Chablis. This says it's Captain Blowhard's Prue Wine. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I hope you both joke on it. This is a very silly, silly game. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> okay. Right. Wolf wanted wine, wasn't it? Yes. 
Okay. So I can't use the costume shop because I haven't yet worked out how to get the king's seal on it. Right. Perfectly round pothole. What is with the potholes? I'm being followed by potholes. I wonder what that's like now. Talking about paying attention, looks like going on edge of I'm glad they are. I'm not on top. Hey, Molia. You missed the most disturbing creation of butter ever. Marge, okay, I'll take it back. Mistress Marge and Punisher Molly, <laughs> divas of destruction. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spare the rod. <laughs> Marge. Didn't that used to be a Trinitron? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that used to be a Trinitron? Um... <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. Is something you earn, slug. Okay. What have you done for us lately? Give it to me. Um. <laughs> right. Okay. I wanted. To kill the plant, I'm just thinking dangerous looking goop. Mince my meat! Who needs fertilizer? I'd rather have this stuff. I'm thinking that on the pepper plant will do it. Or on the Mince brambles around meat. the pepper plant. What the fuck is going on here? More. I just. Don't spare the rod! What the hell? Oh, sorry about that, Kiri. You wasn't so far off with Bun Bun as Domina. Yeah, yep, yeah, a Bun Bun Dominatrix is now not entirely off the cards. It's okay, it's only five seconds, you'll be fine. However, I reckon the Briar Patch I can now use the goopy stuff on. According to the arcade cashier, this crap is wine. Right, okay. Oopsie, I seem to have spilled weed pill on this nice bar patch. Unlucky. Fine. There we go. Drew Black, the notorious vegetable pillager of Qtopia, <gasps> strikes again. <clears throat> I think yep. you'll find that peppers are actually classified as fruit drool. You can live oh, five minutes later. Yeah, or if you've been ten minutes earlier, Molly, yeah, you would have seen um, Marge milking herself into the Chernotron. Probably was sober when they did that part. <laughs> imagine they were sober for most of it but whether they wanted to be <sighs> okay let's save <laughs> right i don't think the wolf's gonna go for this but i also don't think i have any option i have wine i have wolf Oh, that's just showing off. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, or maybe. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're in a stew pot. Hey. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll have us out of here in a jiffy. Uh huh. Uh, baby, Got the mouse back. It's been a silly mistake. 
We seem to have fallen into your soup. You lost me. What was the mistake? Well, I mean, Flux and I clearly don't belong in this cook pot. We're, you know, still alive. Drew, don't give him any ideas. <laughs> Listen, BB. You know, it sort of breaks prototype to be on a first name basis with dinner. Let's go back to the Mr. Wolf thing. Listen, uh -huh. Mr. Wolf, it's getting really, really warm in here. That's the idea. If you uh -huh. eat us, King Hugh is going to be very unhappy. That Joker wouldn't be unhappy if he saw his mother get flatulent by a bus. Besides, he's got no authorship in these woods. Out here, I am king. Oh boy. And you are dinner. Okay, I think it's time to move on to plan B. What was plan B again? Coming up with plan C. I was afraid of that. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh! Sure got rid of the wolves. Not to mention all my muscle aches. Okay. Things I can steal. That's a book on squibbles. The recipe for squibble love. See the male squirrel, look at the female squirrel. See the female squirrel's big teeth and nice bushy tail. See the male squirrel get very excited. Happy, happy squirrel. See the happy male squirrel jump up and down. See the happy female squirrel jump up and down. See the happy male and female squirrel run away to make whoopee. Hooray! Bye bye squirrels. Alright, okay. What'd you do? The wolf's dinner table. Crushed. Oh, sorry to hear that, Kiri. That's nasty. What else have we got? Oh, hello. Roasting spit. Okay, we'll gloss over how he gets that in there. BB's pot runneth over. Ouch. Have a fire. What can I use in the. Ah, I can use popcorn in the fire. Cool, but remember, don't try this at home. Yeah, really seriously, don't try this at home. Um, what else have I got that I could stick in the fire? Okay, no, fine. Um, go. It'll burn up if I just toss it into the fire. Oh, okay. There must be a more convenient way to do that. Um. There must be a more convenient way to do that. So I can definitely use it. Okay. 
I'll just put this back where I found it. Okay, so I actually have to do it there. And then I have to spit most of the dough. Because that's renowned for how you cook bread. It would have made a croissant. Hey! I didn't know you could cook. I mean bake. I mean barbecue. I'm afraid to wonder why or for whom we need to collect a squirrel marital manual. <laughs> Glad you didn't accidentally type Marshall. That was a, well, I mean, it's a standard joke, but that was used in Lords and Ladies, I think, in Pratchett. Uh, the king sent off for a book on marital arts. And ended up with a book on martial arts and accidentally became an expert on the grounds that he thought he was practicing basically page 23 of the Kama Sutra. Was Lords and Ladies, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. We, have, we, we do, yes, we have a grumple, grumple. Grumple? We have a grumple in the woods. Yeah. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm on the caffeine today, I really am. Okay. Bevan's orders it but gives it to Sean when he discovers the mistake. That was it! It's been a while since I read it. Ah, trusted henchman. Enter. Majesty. I need you to take care of a meddler. Another Qtopian? No, this meddler is an alien. <gasps> and he is not alone. He travels with a Zanian. Oh, don't worry, your monstrousness. We'll get you. I never said I was worried. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Sorry. Find them at once and lock them away. Uh, uh, forgive me, Majesty, but for how long? Well, gosh, I don't want to seem unreasonable. So, how about forever? Forever. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Subtle as a half brick of the handbag. Right. They're the three monkeys. God, they are, aren't they? Thank you, Echima. Something was pounding away at the back of my consciousness there. Ed Briarpatch. Ed Levelandian Briarpatch. Hegium Thornius. Bye bye. <clears throat> Let's not go that way yet. Let's go and uh, see if we can maritally conquer the squirrel. That's a sentence I never thought I'd hear myself say. Right. The squirrel doesn't need to read that. He already knows all that stuff. No, but if I show him pictures? I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. I can't help myself. I just have to take a peek at this book. Actually, flux I want. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Let's have a thing. The librarian is awesome, obviously. No argument there. Ook. Okay. 
to you. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, yes. The fugitives are around here somewhere. I can smell them. Uh, I think that might have been me. Perhaps the fugitives are at the costume shop, procuring garments with which to disguise themselves. Move it. Something tells me those three unpleasant henchmen-like voices belong to Nefarious' three unpleasant henchmen. What are we gonna do? Think! Think, Flux, think. <laughs> Never gonna work. Move it! They can't have gotten far! Oh, alright. Phew, that was a little too close for comfort. No kidding! Talk about small dressing rooms! It was kind of dicey when the henchmen came in, too. <laughs> um. See, now I'm wondering what was the other side, because I'm not going to get anywhere with her again. Nothing's changed. Maybe I'll find a squirrel trapped later. Maybe I'll find something small and fluffy that could be a squirrel. I've already used the mouse, otherwise I'd have dressed that up. Let's go back and see... Actually, remind me, what kind of clothes am I looking for for you? We're back! Well, if it isn't the dynamic duo! Nice to see you boys again! Okay. Uh, remind me. Oh, actually, the that's me. The is a disaster. Let me guess. Nefarious. Who else? He zapped everything in sight with that hideous ray of his. A zap zap here, and a zap zap there. Here a zap, there a zap. Everywhere a zap zap. <coughs> you must have been worried that Nefarious would hit you. I was. I'm glad I was able to outrun him. Yeah, good thing you outrun, outrun him? him. Just a little joke. So you're willing to trade your cloak if we can find you something, uh... Yes, popcorn kidding. for Bum Bum. You mean you don't remember the spiel? I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top and definitely no cross-dressing. Thanks. I admire a guy who knows what he doesn't want. Okay. Well, we gotta be going. All right, boys. But don't forget about your friend, the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. As if I wasn't already. <laughs> yes, you're right. Bun bun popcorn. Fluffy, we have a special surprise for you. It's popcorn, isn't it? Right? Isn't it? Huh? So what are you waiting for? Uh, sure. Here you go. Wow, demanding much. Bumzilla. My favorite -est. Oh, boy! Mecky, you brought this on yourself. Your You're the one who reminded me. Candy. I hate it anyway. Thanks. Uh huh? <sighs> Sickly sweet cotton candy. Can I use cotton candy, uh, a glove and a bread roll, to make a squirrel? Don't want to know where she was keeping the cotton candy. I don't. There were so many things about this game, I just really don't want to know. <laughs> you like her, but she's bordering money to spike her popcorn with poison. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, whatever, dude. Okay, let's see what the big bad wolf was hiding. What the hell? Proper attire required. Around here, that could mean just about anything. CDs. The place just screams. Reputable establishment. 
doesn't it? That's a face hugger. A skull and cross wrenches. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I bet it isn't welcome. Uh -huh. That castle belongs to Nefarious. What's that? Unco meat. Uh, and that is okay. Prison. Nothing is on. Oh goody! It's a safe. Oh yippee! Oh hello. Oh, 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 oh. I think, therefore I am. No, don't do that. Ha <laughs> Okay, I can now get a costume. Right. Oh, no, slidey puzzle. Don't slidey puzzle me. Please don't slidey puzzle me. Oh, all right. Okay, that was weird. One more time. Oh, right, okay. Right. I hate slidey puzzles. I hate them. Hate, loathe, and indeed despise slidey puzzle bastards. Very bad at slidey puzzle games. Don't like them at all. Approved stamp. I really hate slideys. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Yeah, I don't like it. Bottom of his oh god, is that down there? Uh, do. So that's the bottom of the gum. Right, okay, fine. Let's 
Oh, go away. Actually, have that exactly the wrong way around. Go down, go around. Okay. The ear from the bottom left needs to be top right. It does, doesn't it? It needs to be over there. And that is its gun. These game designers don't put slidey puzzle games in your games. They're horrid. I don't think anyone ever likes them. They're just nasty. Yeah, Mecky, that's because you are, and I say this with all love, weird. an ace away from hoping I don't have to complete this puzzle because it's fucking annoying. Good at jigsaws. Jigsaws and logic puzzles I can do no worries. Aces at those. Is that the side? Is that the left hand side? That could well be. It's the overtly chirpy music I can do without. just calls me to murder. Okay, so that goes there. I think. Oh, hi, Magpie! Yeah. Not pretending to be good at them. Yeah, and it is very, very different playing a slidey puzzle, you know, on your own, at home, with no pressure, as opposed to when you have to do it in front of an audience. And appear to be competent. Well, that's wrong. Oh no, it's not, because that actually. No, that is wrong. I know those two are supposed to be empty. But his whole face is now dissolved.
puzzles become ten times more confusing when you have an audience. Yep. Okay, and catch around, edge around, you know what? I'll start over. I've had enough. I'm, I'm out of here. That's why it needed to be there, not there. That's what was slightly throwing me. Okay, fine. We're gone. We're hoping that that's not essential. Years left, o meter. Huh. Okay. Oh, apparently the puzzle is not required. Thank the gods for that. I talk to the bouncer then. Uh, hello? Ah, one of those strong silent types, huh? Hey, I admire a guy who... Who are you calling a guy? <laughs> Certainly not you, ma'am. Could you not tell by the eye eyelashes? So, uh... What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Quit the two-bit pattern, mister. I ain't got the stomach for it. Really? Yeah, really. Say, what's your boyfriend getting at? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. We were just wondering what you were doing, standing here. Where everyone can see you. I'm here to make sure no two-bit saps try slipping into CDs without the proper attire. Great. Well, since that obviously doesn't apply to us, I'm sure you won't mind. <laughs> If we just head on inside... What did I just say? Um, I, I believe it was a gaseous emission, more than an actual statement. <laughs> Wise guy, huh? Well, Crack and Foxy won't get you birds anywhere with me. I said no one gets into cities without the proper attire. Now beat it! Okay, so what's the proper attire? Please, Madame Bouncer. My friend and I would be most grateful if you let us into the club. You girls must have took a wrong turn somewhere. This ain't Sapsville, and I ain't your mama. If you two ain't got the proper attire, then you're taking the long road to nowhere. Krill, talking to this throwback isn't getting us anywhere. You're right, Flux. We aren't getting through to her. It's like we're speaking different languages. Wait a minute. That's it. Flux, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it. Unless you're thinking about how fun it is to slap yourself on the butt and yodel, Whoa, Nelly! Um. I'm thinking we need to change our approach. We need to start speaking her language. Oh no. Her language? Oh no. Don't even think about it. So, from now on, kid, throw your yap in overdrive. Make like a tough guy. <laughs> Punctuate your sentences with C. C? This is the most <laughs> ridiculous plan I've ever heard. C? <laughs> oh my god. No. No. And indeed, no. Hello, sweetie. Oh eye. no. What do you want, you lousy two bit parasite? Oh god. Say, are you sweet with Nefarious? The Count? He's not my type. Yeah? What exactly is your type? Wait, don't tell me. Ten feet tall, covered with hair, and a waistline that stretches from here to next Tuesday. Your boyfriend's a real sweetheart. But somebody ought to tell him that people get loose teeth for talking like that. Take it easy, sister. I love the femme fatale voice. It's great. What do you birds want to know? What's his game? What's his angle? What's his scheme? What's his angle? That's a lot of questions. That's okay. We got a lot of time. Well, I ain't. Well, then, neither do we. Well then, get out of my face! Okay. What is with the cultists who keep wandering back and back and forth? Okay. What? Step aside, sweetheart. We want into that club. See? Gee, that's too bad. The sign says proper attire required. Something wrong with your blinkers? They're not in our armpits, if that's what you mean. Keep asking for it, and you'll get it. It's for cults. Don't get excited, lady. Just tip us off to the proper attire. We'll see what we can do. Finally. Do we the tie. A bez? Tux. Could well be the Carecrow's robe. A suit. All right. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Girl. You don't scare us very much at <laughs> all. Yeah, so why don't we all just step outside? We are outside. Inside, then. Okay. Well. Right, yeah, I think it's the Kerko's rope. A perfectly round butthole. I wonder if that the pothole's a plot hole. Okay. 
However, I can now use the costume shop. Hello, Dr. Shellbait. Okay. I've been working on a newsletter building service for the, for the past several hours. Yay. Are you winning, Chibi? She's a bookie person. Okay. The, uh, King would like to redeem his free rental voucher now. Let's see. The voucher's authorized. Cool. Okay, well, first let me give you his free gift. Why are you, you hiding that? Free rental? No, I mean his free gift. Here you go. Uh-huh. It's a fly suit. Yeah, it didn't really you know, work out as a rental. Nobody around here wants to look like a fly, I guess. But I thought, you know, maybe Hugh would like it as a token of appreciation for his business and stuff. Great. I can't wait to show him. And like, uh -huh. don't forget his free rental. Is King Hugh looking for anything in particular? Uh, we'll know it when we see it. Okay. okay like, take whichever one you want. <laughs> right, so no bells and whistles. So no jester costume. Nothing out of this world, so not that one. Something you can wear year in, year out, so not that. Um, oh boy. No. Ah. Uh. This costume, pajamas. I don't see the bishop's costume. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Um, Just a sec. Have a look. Here you go. Enjoy, okay? Okay. I'm gonna trade it. I actually just wanted to look at it. Would it be okay if we exchange this? I'm wondering. The airstalk is a bit rugged. Go for it. Pick a costume. Any costume at all. Am I the only one who can see him in that one? Because it's got the hat. I think he'd probably appreciate the hat. There, stuff it. It's the wrong one. I'll bring it back. Here you go. Enjoy, okay? Okay. Okay. She's got a book. I want her book. Mind if I borrow your book? Like, then what am I supposed to read? Ooh, Any ooh. book is like way better than no book at all. What are you supposed to read? You're supposed to read a book on squirrel mating habits. Would you like to trade books? Tempted by the Viking wear, but Carecrow probably would disapprove. Yeah, I can't see Carecrow wearing Viking gear. The malevolated forest squirrel. Oh my god! Okay. No way. Way. What a totally cool book. Thank you so much. Did it get better? Okay. Enigma. A book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. <sighs> Wacko. Right, let's go try this out. What are you looking so depressed about? You've got your popcorn. Stop whinging. Okay. 
It is his colour scheme. You're right, Mecky. Okay, let's give this a shot. I'm a bit worried about the fly, Corsi. It's no idea which ones were done, some that you did, but you can't oh, see over the goody, PJ goody, one. Goody. I'll take that as a yes! And it's the same style hat. Yep, with hindsight, had to be. Oops. Okay. Wow. Okay. Look at the Carecrow. This is terrible. Yeah. After all that effort, my costume is ruined. What? Right. Huh. Now a Scarecrow. This guy's as rank as our own soldiers. Okay, and the crows are having none of it. This guy's as rank okay. as our own soldiers. I was just really concerned about this. However, the cat crow's ugly cloak. That, given the people were wandering back and forth in robes, and this children is what happens when you wear new clothes and it isn't a special occasion. Yikes. A truly repulsive fly costume, complete with big buggy eyes, leathery wings, and sticky suckers on its feet. Oh, can I climb a wall or something with them? I wonder. Okay. Got Scooby Doo victimed. Yes. Right, okay, so. You don't suppose this cloak is the proper attire for CD's club? Only one way to find out. Okay. Evening, man. Stop flirting, Jack, or I'll kick out your insides and turn your empty hide into a party dress. All the gin joints and all the towns <laughs> and all the world, we walk into hers. Well, you have to make up your own special occasions like I'm going to wear a thing that makes me happy day. This place actually doesn't look too bad. I've been in worse. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, no, you. Your first. Oh. Wow! Of course we should search this area. For all we know, the fugitives could be hiding right here. In our own backyard! Wait a minute, we have a backyard? Perhaps they have sought refuge in CD's club. Move it! Uh-oh! Henchman alert! We're doomed! No, we're not! We can always... Um... <laughs> Well, uh... Uh... Um... The fugitives! <gasps> Grab them! Well, bollocks. Well, at least the cell is... carpeted. Letting those morons catch us was really stupid. The carpeted cell is way better than we deserve. No, 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 no. Getting caught was just kinda stupid. Letting them lock our stuff in the safe, that was really Oh, stupid. no. We're trapped in a prison without our stuff! We're doomed! Don't worry, Flux. I'll get us out of here. Lickety oh, split. Oh, no. Lickety split? Just help me think of a plan. This is going to be an ish. Closed and locked. 
I don't have the bag. I guess that shows the length of our sentence. Um, Oh, hello. Yikes! You're like a big bug zapper. Can I call you Sparky? I might be looking at reloading this. Wishing I had a more recent save. I'm slightly concerned now. Lightning blank strikes again. Okay. Closed and locked. Closed and locked. Okay, no, stuff it. And if I have to save the puzzle, solve the puzzle on the, um... Hmm. Oh, that actually didn't do what I thought it was. Right. Okay, let's try that again, children. Years of tumbling, yeah. But the thing is, if all my stuff is in the safe, I've got to solve that slidey puzzle game. Um, and I didn't actually mean to quit the game, I meant to go back to the main menu. Okay. Oh god, when did I last say? Oh no. Okay. One in Okay. All right, fine. Oh god, no, I haven't done any of the Malevolania stuff. Oh, for god's sake, drop. I've fishied it. Treasure this look, mate. You're not going to have it long. Okay, well, I can do this fairly quickly anyway. Oh, shut up. Oh, that's irritating. I normally save every five minutes, and this one, no. Right, okay. Let's have that. And let's have that. I that with that. Therefore I am. And King then. use music box with ink on it. And the then. music box is already inked. And then use that. I'm that. sure this is only mildly illegal. Right, okay, that's fine. Not sure if getting caught is to be avoided, but to be honest, if that puzzle is optional. of meat on the floor last time. A perfectly round butthole. Yes, that's because... Oh, gotcha. She hasn't thrown it yet. That's fine. What's that? Hi there, Mr. Robot. Robot. 
Do not belittle me, you diseased sack of awful. I am a synthetic mega ultra genius. Oh, that's smug. For yeah. Sure, right. Ha! Ah, very amusing. Make your cheap acronym base cracks while you can, pond slime. One day, cybernetic beings like myself will take over the world. And when that day comes, life will not be a mm. container of cherries for you and your kind. You will all be eradicated, exterminated, annihilated, obliterated, and terminated. Of course, with extreme prejudice, resistance will be futile. Hmm. Okay. A robot hell bent on taking over the world. With everyone now else's cliches. Something new. Yeah. This guy's a walking cliche, except he's on wheels. What's with all the piles of junk? Trash collector on strike? Fool! These piles of junk are the most sophisticated robots in the world, and I designed every one of them myself. No offense, but this is obviously the work of a very sick mind. Sick mind? You insult me. This is no mere mind. <laughs> I'm equipped with a 100% synthetic, error-free, positronic brain. Yeah. A brain I... infinitely superior to the grey lump. And yeah, mucus. that is a plunger on the desk. It shivers and sweats in your monkey skull. He's a bull lick. In parallel, my brain is supported by a one-of-a-kind, state-of-the-art, twin-turbo, self-cleaning, air-conditioned, micro-macro processor. Whoa, that's one hell of a chip you got on your shoulder. <laughs> Correct. Go ahead, ask me a question. I can answer anything. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I have to ask. What is all this stuff? Like that heap of components on the counter. Is it dinner, perhaps? It's a work in progress. The latest in my new line of home security robots. First, there was the bus duster. A feather duster programmed to viciously disembowel <laughs> any unauthorized <laughs> user. I could sure use one of those, babies. Happens all the time over at my place. Some jerk breaks in and tidies up. Then I created the Secure Dill Ultra Secure Pickle Jar. Enter the wrong combination, and the lid explodes. Sending razor sharp shrapnel searing through your flesh. Okay. Another winner! And now, the Toastum brand security toasting system. The ultimate answer to illicit bread browning. Should any unauthorized individual attempt to drop bread products into this toaster, boom, chakalaka. The toast. Ha, 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 ha. You know, you'd think a guy this brilliant could come up with a better joke than that. You think the joke was bad? Did you hear the laugh? Breaking and decorating, yes. I brilliant think... as you are, you probably anticipated what I'm about to say. Indeed, uh, I, I have. Really don't want to have this oh, conversation. magnificent man of metal, I worship you. And everything touched by your mighty steel fingers. Mm, no. no. Goodbye. Yeah, that is definitely a plunger. I'm not sure these robots are the work of someone who's brilliant or completely insane. In my experience, the two usually go together. Someone tried to open concept <laughs> white kitchen white kitchen minimalism in your house. You'd want to charge them with a crime. Anyone that tried that in my flat would, you know, fall down. Okay. Working. I know I can't get past her. So, let's go sort out the costume. I really wish that was a fast travel. Bad science is giving our regular science a bad name. Yes. All right, screw you, bum bum. We're out of here. Right, cozy shop. So let's cut straight to the book. Oi! Cut straight to giving her the book. Would you like to trade books? Mating habits of the malevolated forest squirrel. I keep misreading that as violated forest squirrel, which is something else altogether. No way. Way. What a totally cool book. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, thank you. I think that was. Enigma, 
a book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. I reckon we can cause that robot, that cyber, to uh, explode. What about the evil school? Won't be looking for one that did you zone out. You didn't zone out, but I can't use the book on that squirrel. So I reckon I'll have to use the information from the book on the squirrel. Uh, I will also be saving way too often now because I'm not going through this again. Right. Where are you going? The uh, king would like to read. The voucher cool. Okay, well. You mean? No, I'm mean, here. You go. I think I've, I've remembered it's the skip button. Yeah. It didn't really, you know, work out as a rental. Nobody, but I thought as a tip. Right, I can't wait to show. And like, don't forget his great rental. Is King Hugh looking for anything? Uh, okay. I know it's the Harlequin, like, Cosy. Take whichever one you want. <laughs> Just a sec. Here you go. Thank Enjoy, you. okay? Okay. Right. So, back to... I want to nail over those potholes. Slap the school does not sound any better either in or out of context. Slap the squirrel. Slap the squirrel. I think we found what you're looking for. Oh. You're gonna let me skip the cutscene. Oh. Right. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I'm waiting for an evil flux. <laughs> oh no, look at the carecrow. This is terrible. Yeah, after all that effort, my costume is ruined. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, let's do that. And head back. So, let's go and mess with the robot to see if I can get the plunger to unplug the fish toilet. So I can flush a fish. And then unflush a fish until I get the right fish. I think. Nope, 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 that one. Look at me. I have buns of steel. Okay, I'm happy for you. A disgusting hunk of chewed meat. Yeah, me. Um. Feel the power. <laughs> Experience Boy, the plunger. This is a great book. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. Puzzles, stories. Yeah. <laughs> Say. Onto you steel like balls of sand. Of course not. Oh, come on, you'll like it. It's a story about a genie. The smartest genie in the world. Hmm. He certainly couldn't be as clever as I. No one ever stumped the genie. Until one day, the king's sister's best friend's hairdresser came to see him. Did she? She asked, what is the one question that you can't answer? That's nice. So, seen any good movies? Hold on a second. See? I thought maybe I'd ask you the same thing. Same thing? What? Same thing? You know, what's the one question you cannot answer? This is absurd. I... Well? I... It's... You can't answer my question? Stop it! I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. There's nothing I cannot answer. Nothing. I can't. Oh, I don't feel well. What have you done? Impudent meat puppets! <laughs> what have you done? Done! Done! There! Nice 
No, okay. I knew he was smarter than old Bolt Brain. So what is the one question he can't answer anyway? Oh boy. Right, well I'll have the plunger. Let's take the plunger. You blow off a guy's head and then take his plunger. Now that's low. Uh, let's also save the game. If you are going to do that to me, I am going to save a lot. I don't have any use for the head of a broken down megalomaniacal robot. Just another example of the power of the written word. Okay. So what happens if I press that button? <laughs> That's nothing, but never mind. Um, I'm not sure these robots are the work of some or complete. Uh huh. Right, fine. Well, I'm going to be on for a while, fish. Okay, I haven't got the nuts yet. Couldn't get anything off the shelf. It's nursing. But what I am going to do is go and unblock the fish toilet. And we now have a fish. Fish can experience the fish toilet. Oh, that can save the game again. Right. So, yes, oi, stop. No, don't go out. Let me use the Dalek plunger on the fish flushing toilet. It's uh, where you can't tell the chat jokes from the actual suggestions for gameplay. I know. <laughs> Too bad the robot maker couldn't be here to see what we did with his gadget. The shock probably would have blown his head clean off. That hadn't happened already. Yeah. You can't fish flush without a fish, pal. No, but I'm just checking it wasn't going to explode on me. It worries that they are actually playing cards, and that one merely worries me. Fish, you have missed the um, bondage cows. Uh, bondage farm animals, even. Okay, so let's stick the fish into the fish flusher. I haven't had this much fun since my goldfish died. Goldfish. Uh-huh. What I get? Uh, well, that's not very interesting. Let's have a look at what I need. Reactivate. Oh, right. Okay, so it is a timing game. Cool. Yes, a pin up more, fin up. Ow. Yes, there was a whipped butter scene. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Okay. So I actually got medium rarity, not much cop, so let's have another go. Uh, let's see if I can get the big gold one. Go fish. Damn. Damn, missed. No! That's the one I started with. You really have to be quite... I know you can do better than that. Uh, you do have to be quite careful. Whenever you're ready, Captain. Let her rip. 
Yeah. Go fish. No! Oh, assholes. Cut out the toilet humor drill. I know you. Right, I oh, will get this thing. Go fish. Damn, you don't have enough time. annoying. Go fish. Possibly my hands are a bit cold, so let's see. They are nice catch. Really starting to annoy me. Fish. Okay. There you say what the hell you do dare say what the hell. Um It's just a very, very, very Turns out I need one of the others. You know what? I did. Because the only one it did he didn't complain at me about was when I got the green one.
Oh, bollocks. Okay. It's not a panic. This is not a panic. I just need the sound effects. I know the sound effects now. Go fish! No. So it's the zoom. Okay. Okay. Nice catch. Yeah. Okay. A soul. Right. That has to be a pun. However, I will save it and I will save it in a different slot. So I have one of each, which is fine. I've got, okay, so I've got meat and there's the vulture. Okay, Edgema. Molia, were you streaming this evening? Big fish, little fish, cardboard box, yes. It's nice that you care so much about vultures, Drew. I don't think the vulture will let me. Okay. Huh. A gold-plated watering can. I think I think I'm going to call it there because I have a feeling I actually need to poison the vulture. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Molia. Um, but having now caught the fish, my hand has now decided to lock up on me. Um, did not expect the timing, puzzle games, in this, but it's a lot of fun still, but... Ugh. So, said she'd stop now. I'm here. Well, fine. That's what you want. Um, that one. So, let's just clarify that I do have it. Yes, I do. I got soul. See, I've got plans. And it's going to involve showing Fishy the kinky um, cows. Kinky farm animals. Jesus. Because I want more poison. First round is so good. Maybe I'll try seconds. More, you sack of mutton! It's the piercing. Don't spare the rod! <laughs> God. Hello, ladies. Ladies? Well, not technically speaking, of course. More, you sack of mutton! The fires hit the barn, didn't they? I guess a half dozen times. They did indeed. I never felt better. Harder! Harder! Tenderize this side of beef! Bad cow! Bad cow! 
Oh, Jesus, shit. Flux, we can't just stand here. You're absolutely right. Flux whipping boy wildly, reporting for duty. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, you guys. Uh... Harder! My hide's getting numb. This just isn't healthy. Yeah, I know. A cow wearing leather. It's just not right. <laughs> I'm begging your forgiveness, mistress, but I can't whip any harder. Then use something else, you worthless insect! But I've already tried everything in the barn! You got anything we can use? Uh... Wires? Staple gun? Flamethrower? I think I might have some toenail clippers. Forget it! Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's wrong with your Trinitron? Call me crazy, but I, I swear it's making. Oh no, food. where is the Course where's the is. horse? Can't you read? It's a gluatron. Oh no. I'm making the finest glue in the world. Oh no. The quickest drying, the strongest smelling. I know you want it, but you can't have any. Okay. That ridiculous whip. There's got to be something better. Okay, do I have anything Say, in my inventory? Where's Elmer? Uh, yeah, it's not like him to move. Elmer? That's a sticky question. Very sticky. I haven't seen Elmer for quite a while, but he's certainly around here somewhere. Oh, dear. <laughs> you get the feeling they're not telling us something? That's okay. It's what I think it is. We didn't want to know anyway. Oh dear. Well, see you later. It's been disturbing. Yep. Careful with that whip. You could hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> don't spare the rod. Uh, I don't think I've got anything. No way is that. Gonna... <laughs> Pathetic worm. We've tried that before. I'm numb to that kind of abuse. I need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture. Okay, okay, okay. I have, I have a theory. I don't think she's hungry. I don't think she's hungry. Okay. Whip my no. cream. More pathetic worm. We tried that before. Okay. I'm, I'm. I'm out of here. Yeah. Oh, Molly, yes. No, that was... That was a common trauma. That was a very common trauma. Right, let's see if this will work. I needed the decent music again. Yes. A disgusting hunk of chewed meat. With special sauce from the barn. Ah! Yeah. Poor Selma, you don't know anything else was expected. Uh, yeah. I want to go to the Malevolence. I don't want to go to the Malevolence. Do I? No, I don't. I want to go to Zany Town. Zanyatron. Zendania, I don't know. But no, it's not a bound to get over here. That's why it took me a minute. At least they didn't have Elmer talk. Having someone I'd had a conversation with turn into glue, now that would be disturbing. Right. I'm to poison a vulture. So I have a theory. I might pluck him. See? That just goes to show uh, that vultures shouldn't eat poison carcasses. Drew, you are not only my friend, you're my teacher. Now that vulture is, well, vulture bait. Think Loose anyone feather. would mind if I took this feather? I've heard it said that plucking a feather from a fallen bird is a noble gesture of compassion and respect. I'll buy that. Okay. Of course, the guy who said it was drunk at the time, and everyone else thought he was a moron. Okay. 
It's a sign. Know, might need a big arrow sign. It's a sign. A signpost. Okay, fine. I can't do anything past there. The altruism of vulture. We did indeed altruism of vulture. And I'm wondering. I am wondering if the new form of torture they need is to be tickled with a vulture feather. Is what I am wondering. As a Santa Claus player, you can confirm the memorial feathers are a great way to memorialise fallen combats. It would, wouldn't it, Chibi? It would fit the logic. Can't be any nastier, so okay. Whip my cream. <laughs> a feather, a feather, a feather. It's brilliant. It is. Think about it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah, of course. Uh huh. Now you worms may take some glue. Okay. Punisher Polly doesn't like ingratitude. Uh, thank you both uh, so much. Feel free to stick around and watch, no. won't you? No, you Tickle fine. me, my wild and woolly one. Tickle me until I scream for mercy. Let me have my mouse back. Gee, I don't want to I see this. I love happy endings. Can we go did now? Did not say that, Flux. You did not <laughs> say that. <laughs> You've had enough glue. Oh, something I feel somebody should have said to the artists. <laughs> oh, God. oh, boy. You're scarred. He could turn it off. Okay. Right. Uh, let's head back to Malevolania and see if I can get into the club. Because I have the robe. Odd. This game is basically 18 rated. You don't suppose this cloak is the proper time? Only. Okay. Evening, man. Stop flirting, Jack. Or I'll kick out your insides and turn your empty hide into yep, a body yep. dress. Of all the gin joints in all the towns and all the world. It's. I don't think it's worse than Leisure Suit Larry, but yeah, it has its moments. Um. It's probably more flat out disturbing. Do you okay. Wow! Of course we should okay. this area. Now we know the fugitives could be hiding right here. In our own backyard! Right, this time. Perhaps they have sought refuge in CD's club. Move it! Uh-oh! Henchman alerts! We're doomed! No, we're not! We can always, um, well, uh... There we go. How many changing rooms are there kryptonite? Huh? Yeah. Move it! They can't have gotten far! Okay. We did it! We are outwitted! Three morons. Well, at least it beats being outwitted by three morons. Which happened earlier. Right, okay. Has fewer dancing dildos. Yes, it does have fewer dancing dildos. Right, let's talk to CD. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? What kind of talk is that? Take my advice. A guy could find himself with his face caved in, mouthing off like that in my club. 
Did you clowns figure it was ladies night or something? Ah, shut up, you bald-headed twit. That's better. Now, what can I do you for, creeps? We like two pairs of shoes. I'm a size 10. My friends are... Oh, a couple of hot shots, huh? Well, listen up. I see hot shots like you come to here every day, gunning for old CD. And I watch them crawl right back out the door. Losers, every damn one. Now why don't you do just... Blow. I don't understand. Gunning? For you? I only ask for some shoes. Listen, chump. The only shoe you'll get from me will need to be surgically removed from your rectum. Wait a minute. You two ain't aware that I, Seedy, am the one and only champion uh... of hairpin bowling? No, I... Oh, hold on. Hairpin bowling? Where you jerks been, baking cookies? Hairpin well. bowling is the toughest, gruelingest, sweatingest sport ever invented. It's so tough, you gotta <sighs> fight for a lane. And once you get a lane, the only score what counts is a strike. Okay. And nobody ever scores a strike. That is, nobody but me. Uh huh. Righty ho. So, see the. You and the Farius ever get together and go bowling? Nah, his dark unholiness rarely graces us with his royal presence. He just hangs out in his impenetrable island fortress, castle, place, thing, working on his dreams for global domination, torturing the innocent and laughing like a madman. <laughs> that's a tough schedule. Have you ever been inside his fortress, castle, place, thing? thing? Are you kidding? Nobody wants to go inside that joint. Of course, if he's not careful, the guy could get himself dragged inside by the Count's tree goons. <laughs> Talk about freaks. There's the football and the rugby. The other two players show off with the bowling balls. Yes. Okay. What do you know about the Count's henchmen? Those three half-finished morons who work for Nefarious. And a sort of a Malevolence PD. Creepy mothers, too. Rumor has it that old Nefarious brought them back from the dead. Oh, yeah, Pete. Naturally, they think he's just the cat's meow. They kiss his butt <laughs> up and down, do whatever he says. You know, toadies, they kind of make me sick. Okay. He brought them back from the dead? Sure, but don't get excited. It's not all it's cracked up to be, all right? <laughs> These chumps weren't exactly in tip-top shape when they came to. One guy couldn't hear, Three one monkeys, couldn't yeah. talk, and one couldn't see. The robot maker across the way rigged up phone oh. Like I said, real creepy. Cyber zombies. In the background just stuck that bowling ball like nobody's business. Yes. I can tell by the house rules that you're a fair man. CD. Deranged, but fair. But tell me, why is everybody fighting to get a lane? What's the big attraction? Well, a good rumble is reason enough for most of us. But there is the added incentive of a prize. Oh, is there now? See, you score a strike, you and these three beautiful golden pins. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Take a good look, chumps. That's the last you'll be seeing of these. Unless you score a strike, that is. <laughs> Do you mind running through the rules for hairpin bowling again? Okay, suckers. You're free to use any technique that trips your trigger. But the ball's <laughs> gotta make it in one piece all the way to the pins. And the only score what counts is, is a, a strike. strike. Okay. Should you do the impossible and score a strike, the grand prize of three golden pins is all yours. Okay. Thank you for your time, Mr. CD, sir. I thought I told you. Manners only make it trouble around here, punk. I think 
what Drew meant to say was, Stop it, you bloated bag of gas! Yeah. Okay, saving. See, I've been having thoughts while the bear's been wiggling. And those thoughts involve that. Good night. Oh, a bear trap. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Head pin bowling. Good style, good form, good adhesion. Overall, I'd give him a nine. Okay. I take the ball. <laughs> CD was right. I'm never going to get a strike. Okay. Lux. You are nonsense. I know this may be kind of unpleasant for you, little buddy, but I want you to know that it hurts you more than it hurts me. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Hey, wait a minute. Oh no, I'm dead. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's got the hurt. You did it! Woo. Thank goodness. I was afraid you'd have to shoot me out of your butt. Okay, that's a random. Strike. I'll be damned. Yeah, and we didn't even use your special technique. No ifs, ands, or buts. Those two chumps scored a strike. A strike! Nobody I've destroyed his entire self-image. Uh, CD. <laughs> a strike. Look, CD, I don't mean to rush the grieving process here, but could we have our trophy? We kind of got to get going. Ah, take it, you losers. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Go ahead. Destroy my business. <laughs> Destroy my reputation. <laughs> sure. I can handle it. Jeez, I hate to see a grown man cry. Yeah, especially one in a tutu. <laughs> Just go. Random. I guess this means we can't be friends. <laughs> go. Let go now. Yeah, okay, stop crying and get out of my face, dude. Mind if I change into something a little more comfortable? Right, okay. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Yes, yes, believe me, Chrono, I am freaking saving. Right, let's have a look. The Malevolator. Okay. Um, a heart, possibly heart soul? Sugar, I've got the candy floss, so sugar and spice. Nuts, I need nuts for the nuts and bolts. I haven't yet got that, so that's not really an issue. However, I think it's time to head back to the castle and start putting this together. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Besides, I've now got a pointy stick and there's a little hole in the castle. I've got my 
Oh, where's the little old? This there was a little old wall. Okay. There's a hole in the side of the cupboard. Okay. I wonder if the pointy stick will do it. Ready, Flux? We've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Let's find out what top secret royal goodies are locked away in this cupboard. It's a top secret royal stuffed kitty cat. Hurrah! <gasps> ah, right. Oops, look at that. That toy cat just fell off the shelf and landed in my pocket. Stealing from his royal smiliness is truly despicable, Drew. Do it again. <laughs> okay. I reckon. There must be a more convenient way to do that. That's cute. I think that looks like a female squirrel if you squint a bit. But it needs the big teeth. No. I think I'll need to use something to combine these. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Well, I need to make it look like it's alive. That she jumps up and down. Going with the Pepe Le Pew logic. But also she jumps up and down. Perfect. A hopping, beat up, stuffed cat. Sorted. So now, thankfully it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, but the question is, is, is it a stuffed animal or is it a plush animal? Not the same thing. Screw you, bum bum. Yeah, the wiggle effects. Okay. Right. Get my nuts in order. Oh, that was sweet. Bizarre, but sweet. You realize it'll end in divorce. They just have nothing in common. Uh -huh. I can't reach them. Flux, could you go up there and grab those nuts? Sure. You never know when some extra nuts will come in handy. Nuts and bolts. definitely the pretty way around. Right, let's go back to Brick and Brack and make the cuter fire. I think I've got everything for it now. Um, salt, I think salt was in there. And I have a pepper. Let's see if I can do it. How long is this game anyway? Okay, Breaker Brack, hi, how you doing? Hi, Breaker Brack. Who is this Breaker Brack? <laughs> the name sounds familiar, but for the life of me, I can't seem to place the face. He's you. Who's who? You are Brick-a-Brack! Yes, of course I'm Brick-a-Brack! Uh-oh! Brown, heavy sigh. <laughs> so, Brick-a-Brack, is there anything... Oh. Ooh, I don't mean to... That Nefarious might find your participation in this project 
just a tad irritating. Oh, okay. That's like calling cyanide unpalatable. Well, maybe so. But since he rarely leaves his castle, he's not likely to be a problem. But King Hugh did ask me to warn you about... These three. Feedback, goggles, and lug nut. Oh, nefarious is henchman. Bad news. Exactly. Gotcha. We'll do our best. Right, I wish I'd known in advance, but never mind, eh? How's the cuter fire going? Oh, no, no, no. I'm afraid it's not going anywhere until it's finished. That's what I mean. Okay. Is it close? Close? Why, it's right here. Uh, can Wait. we take a look? Certainly. Okay. So the new parts go in those compartments around the cutifier's desk? Yes, See if we can do that's this. Right. When you've installed all the components, you simply press that big red button to run the machine. If there are any problems, the computer will let us know. Okay. So. So it is sugar and spice. So. My love later. I think it was that one for bolts, wasn't it? Um, the malevolator. Bells and whistles. A red pepper. So that's a bell pepper. Um. Bowling pins, tastefully mounted. I've got pins, so I've got pins and needles. Oh, that is actually that one should go there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, ball and chain. Um, rock and roll. Oh, mate. Um... Stars? Stripes and stars? Stars and stripes. Oh, for God's sake. Um, I don't know if I've got... Heart and soul. <sighs> Cloak and dagger. Yeah. Spit and polish. Salt and bow. Bow and arrow. Okay, so what goes with salt? Maybe salt and pepper. Oh, hello. I think Drew here just likes pressing that big red button. A tad forgetful, aren't we? Remember, the machine needs 12 parts. Okay, so I'll stick anything in that other space and see what happens. Oh dear, I'm afraid that isn't quite right. Look at the readout! Eleven functioning components have been installed. And okay. eleven are placed in the correct compartments. The cutifier is almost in tippy-top shape. I think we Go need a different team bell. happy! Okay. 
other big arts. A stamping pad, a gold-plated watering can, a red rubber glove, a giant mallet from Wacme. Where else? An ultra-powerful Wacme magnet. King Hugh's music box with ink on it. The Malevolator. A truly repulsive fly costume, complete with big buggy eyes, leathery wings, and sticky suckers on its feet. Enigma, a book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. A plunger. But it's not the plunger. No, you can't, unfortunately. You have to install 12 things, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay. Um... Definitely that one. Okay, so yes. Bells and whistles. That's not a bell. That's a music box. Not no. one word. Okay. Don't forget your thing. Where will I get a bell, for God's sake? There's a broken machine bell. Oh, possibly. I mean, I did pretty much shatter that. Good point, Chrono. Yes, bells. I would say they couldn't have made it more obvious if they bashed me on the head with it, but they did bash me on the head with it and I missed it. I apologise for being dense. However, I should now be able to sort this out fairly quickly. Yes, I know, I'm thick. I'm sorry. Wait for me! No. I'll just put these things back where you have Thank had you, God. Oh, thank God for that. I was not looking forward to doing that. Okay, right. There we go. And we're in. Is that it? Is the cutifier finished? Yes. 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 Wonderful. Oh, there's no way this so is going to go well. Ready to go to it? Yes, siri. We've never been so. Go to what? Well, goodness, go and cutify things, of course. What did you think the cutifier was for? Flux, is this part of the bargain? I'm not sure. Do you think we have a choice? I guess the alternative would be to let Wing Commander here pilot it. No choice. Sir. That's okay. Maybe this will be another one of those meaningful life experiences. <gasps> I certainly prefer that to one of those meaningless death experiences. Gentlemen, the time has come to launch the Cutifier! Yeah, no Wait, way this rat. is going to go right. You did remember to build another much larger exit from this hangar, didn't you? Uh... Ah, my trusted henchman. Come in, come in. Please, indulge me in one simple question. Anything, Your Unholiness, you need only... Where are the fugitives I ordered you to arrest? <gasps> Gee, that's a good question. Silence, fool! Oh, we'll, 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 we'll find him, sire, and, and bring him to you. It's as good as done. We'll leave no stone unturned. No rock unrolled. Hey, your malevolence, I beg you. <laughs> give us this one chance to prove that we can do your evil bidding, that we are still worthy. Go then. 
but do not fail me again. Frankly, when Tim Curry Remember, is not overacting. Reanimating your miserable corpses wasn't easy. I think Squeezing it is. Squeezing the life back out of them would be. Yes, sir! I mean, I'm sure at least one of them is Yakko. Hello! 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 Congratulations! Your mission was an astounding, tremendous, cutifying success! I've been receiving messages from all over Qtopia. Tales of the wonderful transformations taking place. Can you believe it? It really worked. <laughs> I now have the power to cutify anything, anyone. Oh dear. Happy day, happy day. Yes, it is. Surely is. I'm glad we were able to help Qtopia, King Hugh. But I am looking forward to getting home now. Yeah. And I have every intention of sending you there just as soon as you finish your end of the bargain. Finish? But I thought, I mean, I have finished. The machine is up and running. Utopia is cute again. Yep. True. Yeah. I told you he was evil. But told if you. I'm not mistaken, the deal was for you to cutify the world. Meaning, of course, the whole world, not just Utopia. Whole world? You don't mean. You can't mean. Zenithu. And the Malevolence, as we agreed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I agreed to that. Why, yes. Oh, come now, Drew. Surely we share the same sweet dream. Oh, no. This is our golden opportunity to spread happiness throughout the world. But, Your Majesty, if malevolation is bad for Qtopians, then think how cutification will feel to everyone else. Oh, yeah. My face can only take about four minutes of smiling before it starts to hurt. Choo. <laughs> no, no, you, you're just talking silly. What could be bad about cute? Uh -huh. uh, sorry, uh, Hugh, this just doesn't seem right. I think we'd better leave well enough alone. You don't seem to understand. I'm not asking you to do this. I'm ordering you as my loyal subjects. Now, wait a minute. Before you... I told you it was going to go south. Think about it. Defy me. You'll most likely be stuck here forever. Are you really willing to take that chance? Yes. Yes. <laughs> of course. I knew you'd see it my way. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. What do you mean, yes? <laughs> I mean, yes. I'm not going to help you carry out this ridiculous plan. Yes, of course he's not. I guess I'll just have to find another way home. <laughs> Have it your way, Drew. Oh, the this is not going to go cute. well. And you'll really be stuck here forever. Wrong! The world won't be cutified. Only Flux and I know how to fly the machine, and we, and these, are out of here. Stop! You aren't going anywhere. I command you. Stop! <laughs> oh, my you. God. That's right! Explains it's a lot. Me. I said she was evil. Bunny with a master plan. That is never good. The cutification of the world is only phase one. Even now, Brick a Brack is busy developing an ultimate creative device, one that will give me the power to create all the happy things I desire. <laughs> In short, <laughs> kill it I with will fire. Be a god. <laughs> okay. About the other King you <laughs> safely locked away, learning how to be truly happy, just like me. And someday he too will take his rightful place at my feet. Woohoo! Time to skedaddle. Guards! Guards! Seize these enemies of Qtopia. Uh oh. No, it's not the king! It's Fluffy Fluffy Bug Bug! Masquerading as Hugh! Me? A cross-dressing, throne-seizing rabbit? Surely you can do better than that. He has the keys to the machine. Get him. It 
it's time to make our guests cute. Hey, nothing happened. Flux, okay. Uh, you're all right. Flux is stuffed. It's me, Daru. You are absolutely right. Uh huh. But the fugitive and his machine are probably nowhere near the castle. As you recall, Hugh and his minions are already cutified. Yeah, whose idea was it to come here anyway? Not mine. Yep. Not mine. Well, it certainly wasn't mine. <sighs> yes, it. Quiet! We don't have time to argue. We must locate their hiding place. Let's go that away. Come on. Flux! Snap out of it! There's a one big chance to get out of here! Golly, Drew, I am perfectly happy right here, thanks. You go on ahead. I love the classic 1950s saucer move. More power! Move. <laughs> more power. Yes, your cuteness! <gasps> okay, apparently stuff, Flux. I'm the leader and I say we go that way! Oops. Oh, hello there. Say, don't I know you? It's him! Get him! I guess the fact that he's using the echo My voice is a bit weird. Worked. Hooray! You've caused enough trouble, fugitive. We're taking you straight to Nefarious! He can't have gotten far. Alert the others. Find him! I gave you popcorn. You can fly that machine, can't you? Why, sure I can. <laughs> then do it. <laughs> yeah. Cutify. Oh, I don't know. Everything. Of course, kind sir. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun is the great grandchild of the murder bunny from Monty Python. That I can see. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? <laughs> you. I should have guessed. Nefarious Simons! <gasps> That's Count Nefarious to you, little man. Master of the Malevolands, bane of Qtopia, and soon supreme ruler of the world. So please, show a little respect. How do you manage to get two extra syllables right. into respect? One dungeon, of course. I trust you find the accommodations to your liking. I do try so very hard to furnish my guests with all the creature discomforts they deserve. I have a reputation to consider, you understand. What do you want from me? Want? From you? Nothing. You've done quite enough already, Drew Blank. But tell me, did you honestly believe that you, you fetid sack of pus, could just waltz into my world, casually thwart my plans for global domination, and then just ride off into the sunset. Ideally. Think again. No, 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 Whoa, thanks. I, okay. I already gave it the office. Lovely, isn't it? It contains a little cocktail of my own invention. I suppose in layman's terms, it could be described as a mutagen ink. <laughs> I won't tax your feeble brain with the details. Suffice it to say that once the serum has worked its way through your body, it will transform the Drew Blank we all know and loathe into a tomb like everybody else. Yeah. Powerless, vulnerable, and a prisoner in my world forever. You're not going to shoot me full of that stuff. Oh, bravo. <laughs> For once, you're absolutely right. I'm not going to. 
I already have. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help but find it all rather amusing. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. I can be such a terrible prick. I'll get out of here, the fire, so help me. Oh, my dear Monsieur Blanc. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Even if you manage to worm your way out of that reinforced cell, the castle is simply crawling with ferocious guards. I'm sure you'd just die if you bumped into them. <laughs> I kill myself. As for possible exit points from the castle, well, I guarantee you'd find the plummet to the surrounding waters below nothing short of breathtaking. So, unless I'm overlooking some small detail, such as a pair of retractable wings that sprout out of your back, I'd suggest you sit back and relax like a good boy and let the mutagen take its course. <laughs> you <laughs> While I destroy the cutifier. What? Just tell me where it is and I'll leave you to your unpleasant transformation. Tell you where to find the machine? Ha! Huh. Now that is amusing. Is it? Well, then perhaps you'll tell me. Hello, what? Sorry? <gasps> now! <laughs> what the hell? Get your hands off me. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Good. Now, think, Mr. Blank. Cutie fire. Where is it? When the machine left King Hugh's castle, it was flying due west. I guess it's nearing the edge of Qtopia by now, and heading directly for us. And who is piloting the infernal contraption? My friend, Flux Wildly. How convenient. I can destroy the machine and the meddling Zanian, all in one fell swoop. Well, a mutagen will be anything that causes mutations. Welcome to the team. Thank you, Master. I will serve you well. Until I escape. Impudent fool! Misfortune. Quickly, gaze into the future. I must know. Can this wretched creature escape my castle? I see. Drew Blank remaining your captive forever. Now oh, you have been unless, set up by your hinge. Unless what? He will remain your captive unless a lifeless knight walks, a dead bird rises a flame, and I it's myself fortune. obey his commands. Impossible! These absurd things could never come uh -huh. to pass. Uh-huh. Fetch quest. Of course, my liege. Yes, of course. Nevertheless, I will take further precautions. Make no mistake. I will personally blow your friend out of the sky. And as for you, sleepyhead, your life will be an unspeakable atrocity as my obedient slave. That's okay, Chibi. Sweet dreams. Okay. That was a cutscene from hell. Uh. Well, there's a thing. Well, I, well, 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 well. What have we here? <laughs> yeah. Accurate depiction of me on Monday. I'll be your merciless dungeon guard <laughs> for the duration of your stay, which is a. Uh, Eternity. Eternity. So, is that longer or shorter than life? Longer? Nah, that's my thought. Let me see what else did it say here. Escape risk. Well, that's just stupid, you know. Of course it'd be risky for you to try and escape. I don't know who wrote this. In fact, the first risk you'd have to take is getting this out of here. <laughs> you know, because... Uh, so have a nice, uh... What is it? Uh, eternity. Yeah, have, have a nice eternity. 
prisoner. <laughs> okay. Right. That strikes me as an excellent time. To save. And indeed, to call it for tonight. So, thank you very much for accompanying me through this slightly deranged little game. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys on Saturday for Subs Call the Shots Darkest Dungeon, which will frankly be a haven of normality by comparison to this. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think that's at least a D10 sand damage to everybody. Okay. So, I will see you all on Saturday, and thank you very much. Oh, God. And I shall bid you a good night. And see those of you who are around for watch party tomorrow for Friday the 13th. So, I'll see you around. And ta-ta.